Greetings to you in the name of the Father, the Creator, the Most High, El Ha, Yaha, Yod He, Bahu He, Elohim, Yod He, Bahu He, Elohim, Neta Rav Neta, God in your modern day name, Kodowish, 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 Yod He, Bahu He, Seba Yod, Kodowish, 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 Elohim, Sebajot, greetings and blessings to you in the name of the Lord. Those Melchizedek, Yehovah, our deliverer, our redeemer. Yes, the name that we call upon to be delivered. Kodowish, 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 Adonai, Sebajot. This is Neo Fight DAG bringing you the continuation of Nissan 2024. The four signs to start the last great wrath to try to pass you over into lower state of consciousness, condemning you to the abyss. Hades, children of Israel, not what I want for you. So, I am here today to give you all the signs coming from your skies to come treat you. Children of Israel, Luke 21, verse 25. I told you last week and the week before, your signs shall be in your sky. The sun, moon, stars, and America, earth, shall be in distress, and all nations shall be confused and in stress, 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 and perplexity, and Europe in shambles, children of Israel. But what is coming for man and woman is Luke 21. Verse 26, men's heart shall fail when they see what is coming in their skies. What is about to come? Children, you're getting this message early so you can prepare yourself. Because when these things shall come to pass, men's woman heart Shall fail, children of Israel. That is the dreadful signs that I'm talking about. That the fallen ones will bring to your planet of the Rekha and Europe. The sea as well. Earth, earth, which is America. The powers of heaven shall be shaken. Yes, releasing the fallen ones on earth. Children of Israel, as you already know, your new year is on April 9th and April 8th. Is your solar eclipse one of your great signs when the light of rain shall commence and increase two times greater than the year before. And it's the year that start off when priest king Zerubbabel and Levite and Judah and the rest of Israel shall be stirred up, stirred up. Children of Israel, that's your solar eclipse coming April 8th and the day after April 9th that is your new year and the latter rain comes in the first month of your new year starting April 9th commencing with your solar eclipse which puts your X mark the spot which puts your X mark the spot over America that's where the X is 
showing you where the spot of the new kingdom is going to be. It's not in no Middle East, in no North Africa, in no Israel and Jerusalem and whatever else they give you over there. It is in the United States. That's where the kingdom shall be firmly decided and given back unto you. Firmly decided and given back unto you. Oh, children of Israel. Also, last week, I went over the two rare comets that are coming. One of them is coming on April 8th called Devil Comet. Coincident, not no gossip planned, and it's a sign that when the dark forces shall begin to commence their last wrath preparation, children of Israel, that last wrath come in one year, it shall last for, but they have to prepare themselves now for that last year when they shall try to. Put your back in affliction and slavery and damn you to give you firmly the wages of sin, which is damnation and death. Children of Israel, not what your father wants for you. Yes, yes, yes. Coming back to you is eternal life. You get this message? Make yourself ready because NASA will fire up three rockets in your sky at your solar eclipse. Children of Israel, why they pick that day to start firing things in the sky at your solar eclipse? Why are they trying to do these things? NASA has announced it will fire three rockets into the moon shadow on Monday, April 8th, during your solar eclipse. That is your sign telling you your time is coming for your great day. These fools want to fire rockets up in the sky to interrupt the sign for your great day. No, no, go so. That shall not work, you hear me? Nothing goes as such. Where you gonna prevent the children of Israel's sign and what is coming as well for the children of Israel? Commencing after your new year start, your first month kick in, how your latter rain begin to pour upon you. You can fire a million rockets up there. Nothing can change the inevitable. Children of Israel, atmospheric perturbation around the eclipse path. Acronym given unto it, APEP. APEP is the name after the serpent. Coincident again? No, it does not. Telling you who is behind and who is responsible and what energy is giving them the motivation to do these things at NASA. Naming it APEP. APEP is named after the serpent deity, Seth, Lucifer, Benelli, the ancient Egypt mythology, nemesis of who? Ra, the sun, the sun, S-U-N, the nemesis of your son right now, son of man, came to be lowest. These are his nemesis, the enemies of the children of Israel, the children of light, the sons of God, the children of the morning. Children of Israel, you think I'm making this up? Apep, the one who embodies darkness and disorder, the opponent of light, truth, and order. Truth, truth, truth. The law is the truth, and the truth is the law. They are against the law and order, and they support darkness. No light. In what they do 
APEP. That's the meaning of APEP. And surely these folks who name it APEP knows the meaning of it and come back and call those rockets that they're firing. That project is called APEP. APEP. To make sure darkness cover up your solar eclipse. That won't happen. To make sure this order is the order of the day to commence your new year. That won't happen. And to take away the light that is coming to you, that won't happen. And to take away the order that is part of this transition, this Passover from darkness and this order to light and order and hard money. That won't happen as well. And to take you off the path of the truth because the truth is the law. That won't happen as well. Your law coming back. Yes. Watch the symbol of that apep. The snake. The snake. The serpent. Children of Israel. You know them by their works. You know them by their works. You know them by their symbol. You know them by who they're associating themselves with. Have all the acronyms in the world. You could have picked and you can pick. Hey, Children of Israel, it's not done yet. Large binocular telescope they've been using to monitor your sign and to monitor their sign. Yes, yes, yes. Up in Mount Graham in Arizona, called the Mount Graham International Observatory. MGIO, that's the name of it. And what projects of telescopes they have going on at this time? One is called Lucy. Where did that name come from? Lucy. That's the shortening for Lucifer. Sponsoring their binoculars, their telescope, their observatory up in Arizona, Mount Graham. That's where he has his lookout point. And children of Israel, children of Israel, he is looking out for his signs to tell him when he can set loose. Angel, angel, fallen angel upon you. Children of Israel, we're not done yet. Lucy, originally called Lucifer. That was the name that they gave this place up in Mount Graham, Arizona, the Mount Graham International Observatory. And they have Lucy cameras up there. Large binocular telescope, near infrared spectroscopic utilities with camera and integral field unit for extragalactic research acronym lucifer children of israel of all the acronyms you can come up with you come up with lucifer and you come up with apep children of israel they've been flaunting this in your face while you were blind all these things were happening unto you identifying who is doing it and because your levi priest wasn't around to let you know who is running the show behind the stand but your levi priest are back Children of Israel, guess who is up on that mountaintop with them in Arizona, setting up telescope and giving them instruction to set up Lucifer Telescope. Vatican, children of Israel, Vatican, advanced technology, telescope, other MGIO facilities upon Mount Bethlehem. Children of Israel, the Vatican setting up his telescope and then having their monitor for him, the Lucifer telescope as well. Everybody up there in Mount Graham looking out for sign and setting up things to let in their falling angels when the time comes near. Yes, Vatican have his stuff up there, right next to Lucifer's gears and equipment and be not collapsed. Children, again, you know them by their works. You know them by their works. 
You know them by their works, and they cannot hide because their works is going to tell who they are. Children, Vatican, advanced technology telescope, situated where? Mount Graham, Arizona, same place. Lucifer Telescope is set up right in the same shop. Vatican is part of Mount Graham. International Observatory and is operated by who? Vatican Roman Catholic Pope Jezebel Vicar of Christ. You know them by their works. All of them setting up signs and shooting off rocket now. Three rockets to come fly up in your solar eclipse. But they shall not succeed. I have not read anything to this point. I have not come across anything at this point that tells me that they succeed in extending your time of affliction and darkness and punishment. No way they're going to succeed, not even by a long shot. Children of Israel, they've been telling you we're setting up things as Lucifer because Lucifer is just a name for the son of the morning. No, no, go so. No, no, go so. No, no, go so. That's only one fourth of the verse that you're quoting, that you're precepting as your example and your proof that Lucifer is son of morning. No, no, go so. How art thou fallen? That's how the verse start. Isaiah 14, 12. Lucifer fallen. He's a fallen angel. Son of morning has a different and a deeper meaning. Children, how art Lucifer? Art, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding coming back through your priest king. Love us. Jerome Armstrong coming back through your fight. Coming back to Judah. That's your art. The art is the glory of your strength. The art is the glory of your strength. You know my art and your glory and your strength that's attached to the Lord comes with it. Lucifer, our art, you are falling from heaven, from the higher nine dimension down to fifth dimension. You are stuck. On the lower fourth, the firmament, a.k.a. the air. And you're also, when you desire to come in a physical reptilian serpent body, come down to the third dimension. Oh, Lucifer, sun, falling sun, falling watcher, falling angel, red horse of the morning, the beginning of the time of life. He's here right now, reading it up with his vibratory field of red, fallen watcher, fallen angel. The red horse has told unto you in the book of Revelation how art Lucifer cut down to the physical plane. That's the meaning of it. To so try tell the children of Israel now, you're rubbish that Lucifer is a good name and it's supposed to be spread out all over America. No, no, go so. We're not working with fallen image anymore, Vicar. Go sit on one side with that. How are thou cut down to the ground? Lucifer, you're in your lower selfish desire, your carnal mind, your concupiscence, your concupiscence, your concupiscence, your concupiscence. That's where you're stuck. In your malkuth, your lower, your lower part of your tree of life. Your materialistic, physical world. Cut down to that. And you did weaken all the countries, all the empire, all the government, all the united sovereign people, all the world leaders, all the great number of people on this planet. That's what you have done 
with all that you have been doing since we cast you out of the fifth and ground you here on the lower fourth and the third dimension. See, portion, chapter six, verse 41. If you want, precept to go with Isaiah 14, verse 12. Lucifer, have I cast into this world? That's the ground where he's cast. As the law require, I cast him in the ground. The lower heavens, Malkuth, the material plane, the physical plane, the lower fourth dimension, giving him access to the third dimension, but he cannot occupy an Adamic body, a Semite body, if he gets the chance. No, 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 no. So he had to. Go do is experimenting and come up with a reptilian humanoid form to come occupy. Yes, you should know. Yes, you should know. Lucifer, no, the eternal laws of heaven, and he must, 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 must abide by them. Eternal law, what is it? Free. Well, at this point in time, it's free will. You have to decide once you're in this ground section, this Malkut section, this physical world, your free will cannot be taken. You got to volunteer to give it up or to do whatever someone is telling you you must do. They usually say must with something else happening. If you say, well, I'm not going to, then you're going to get the something else. You must take this vaccine or you lose your job. There we go. There's a choice. You must do this or you can't enter into this building. Then you have the choice. Do you want to enter in the building? Are you going to do what they tell you to do and take their shot? You must do this or else. That's always your choice given. And he has to make sure you sign that agreement that you gave up your free will voluntarily. They did not come and tell you that. Everything that you do, they must make you volunteer for it because he must abide by the eternal law. Children of Israel, hear me go and hear me go. Let me explain it some more for you. Chapter 6, verse 42 and verse 43. Go with chapter 6, verse 41 of the sealed portion. Lucifer lost his glory. All his glory went away from him when he was cast out. He's been trying to get back that glory upon this planet and he has gotten a fallen glory by dominating, bribing, enticing all these men and world leaders to do as he wants. He bribes them with money, sex, and power. Always the vices that plague man, even Judah. Judah's problem is sex, women, and money and power. So he bribed Judah as well. It's glory and his birthright. His birthright have I given to your head. What? No Jehovah, there was no J. And they switch around the E and the O in your Yohewa to give you Jehovah. But his Yohewa, Yohewa, any of the two before Yohewa, you shall bow your knees, including Lucifer, when we get to the wrap up time. Ah, to Yahweh, which is the Lord told Melchizedek, Yahweh, Adonai, unto his glory I have given him, and in his name shall all of the Father's work be done, leading up to your Passover, in the middle of your Passover, until the end. Of your Passover, Yahweh, the Lord, told Melchizedek has the glory and has superseded Lucifer. Verse 43, behold, Michael, which is Lewis, shall go to this planet, earth and in America, earth as well, and perform your help work. And perform your help, the Lord told Melchizedek, your help work. So, 
Michael and his angels, as I've shown you last week, have been chasing Lucifer and the rest of the fallen angels all the way out of heavens, the higher heavens, the ninth, all the way down now, they have pushed them down to lower fourth. So Michael and his angel have gotten the permission now from Jehovah, Adonai, Melchizedek, thought to finish that work upon the lower fourth and the third dimension. So therefore, Michael is going to finish the work because Michael is the right hand, the political power of Jehovah. Psalms 89, right hand. Armstrong is your right hand. You have a mighty Armstrong. Right hand power coming with Michael, a.k.a. Louis Jerome Armstrong. The right hand coming here with children of Israel. Verse 50, those spirits that went with Lucifer were also cast out. Told you that already, so I won't spend much time on it. And they have been trying to misguide you, deceive you, entice you, get you to voluntarily give them your free will so they can lead you astray and they even come in your dreams, in your prayers and give you all kind of assistance that you think you're getting from the Holy Spirit or you're getting from the Lord or you're getting from the Most High. But it's not from them. Lucifer has access to your dreams. He has the access to come as Holy Ghost and Holy Spirit to cast illusion around himself and trick you up and you give up your free will to things that you didn't know are you. You are the image of the most. You are those gods that were created. Lucifer was once one of those gods. So he knows all the play and all the tricks to come up with. So you have to be extra cautious, extra careful, these days. So Lucifer came down to the ground, down to the physical plane, and create his pyramid, his force of darkness. Given unto you, I've been giving it to you all along to show you what's the hierarchy of those that are practicing this darkness, this evil that they want to turn loose on you in the last part of your Passover to make sure they can try to fix your back in that last wrath of damnation. On the left hand side, that's the hierarchy. On the right hand side, on the physical plane of it now, the third dimension, he has it starting at Canaan, that's where Benelli Lucifer's son take over the physical plane. He's also known as Bel, Balim, Balam. Balam is the priesthood that he sets up, the priesthood of Mahan. That's the Balam, the prophets of Baal, as it's called as well. Canaan, all the way down to the United States. That's where they're having that power right now in the United States. That's about to be disrupted, to be mash up. So they're preparing themselves to mash up United States, damn as many people as they can possibly damn before they exit the building. And they have Vatican running it for them. And the Vatican giving power to Mason, Freemason, also called Balak in your Bible, which is Kabbal, and Vatican is called in your Bible, Jezebel. That's the Vatican, also called Little Horn, also called the Great Mouth that speaketh blasphemy against the Most High, and that evil lawyer has given unto you in name one. That's the Vatican for you, but I'm not spending time on him. He's low in the totem pole. Going above his head, John 8, verse 44. The devil, Lucifer, Dagon, Baal, he and the loss that he bring to this world. He's a murderer from the beginning, and he lived not by truth. All life, and he give life everyone in his pyramid. Pyramid of lies, because there is no truth in the leader of those forces of darkness. He speaks lie. And everyone below him speaketh lies as 
Well, everything that you learn up to this point in your life, no matter which school you go, is all lies. Yes, yes, yes. No matter which big fancy school you go to, it's still you learn lies. Academic fraud. That's what you learn. Go look up that meaning. I'll post it on the board so you can see it as I read along. Lies because he's a liar. He's a what? Father of lies. And therefore, all his disciples gonna come tell you lies until your priest would come back. Yeah, priest king is back. Yeah, Levite is back. Yeah, Judah is back. Daniel 8, verse 12, they got killed off and replaced by liars. But that done. Lucifer gave a host, a doppy, fallen angel, ghost, and all kind of demon to vicar of Christ and Balaam and Cabal to make sacrifice against you and to do all kind of evil on the land and cast down truth and tell be alive. Cast the truth to the ground where it says Lucifer is at. In the ground, he's in the ground level. So at this level, all lies telling on the ground level. And they practice and prosper in those lies. But it don't, as I told you, 70 years and all the curse and the lying and all the inequity and the transgression has to be done. Daniel 9, verse 24. Tell you, you me? 2024, that's when all of that mashup, 70 years are done in year 70 year, which ends at your Nissan 2024. So, April 9th, 2024, commence the winding down of that 70 years of punishment, last punishment for the children of Israel, practicing and prospering. Don't for Lucifer and his friends. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians 11, verse 14. Satan, Lucifer, Baal, Dagon, Dragon himself is transformed into what? Angel of light. Told you back here. The man can come. This man and his cast out fallen spirit can come and emulate Pretend that they're the Holy Ghost and answer your prayers. So when you come to me many times with all kind of different ideas that you're coming up with yourself, or this man sent it to you, or this man sent it with you to come annoy the children of the Most High that's moving back into the law and the commandment and the path of the Lord through Melchizedek, Yohewa. He's coming as all kind of inspiration in your sleep. In your awaking moment and in the instant moment when you get flashes in your head, know where it's coming from and know how to identify who is giving it to you if you're seeing them in person. Tia Bel Amet, we're going to get to that later on. Tia Bel Amet, we're going to get to that later on. But Tia Bel Amet, take away that illusion that they cast around themselves to come looking like angel of light and it shows you who exactly is behind that illusion. Children! Time for this to end. Second Corinthians 11 verse 15. Therefore, if Lucifer can transform himself into an angel of light, his ministers, his fallen angel, all the people in his pyramid of darkness also can transform themselves into angels of light, righteous light, but they are not. Illusion cast around them, deception again, working on you to let them look like angels of light, but they are not. Tia Belamet, Tia Belamet, Tia Belamet moves away that illusion, whether or not they're physically in front of you. And if you're sleeping or meditating or whatever, where you're not physically waking about, you can also do it in your dreams. Tia Belamet, mentally you can say it, it would unmask them, whether they're standing in front of you, in your eyesight, or they're coming to you in visions or dream. Tia, Bel, Amet, remove that illusion that they cast around themselves, pretending that they're angel of light, and show them for truly who they are. Children! 
the ends of their work. That's why I say you know them by their work. You know them by their work. If they're telling you that they are a Christian organization, a religious organization, and they're having satellites set up with Lucifer title to it, and right next to Lucifer, they're maintaining their own satellites as well, you know them by their work. It speaks for themselves. And if they say they're national aeronautic, da, 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 and they're sending up project called APEP, you know who they are as well. You know who they are as well. And if they're telling you they're man or women of cloth or of the most high, and they're telling you to go eat meat of all sorts, you know them by their work. When the most I say, no meat or flesh, Genesis 1 verse 29. And if they're telling you, so you could chase money and get all kind of money and go get loan and pay interest, da, 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 da. You know them by their work because the most I say, charging interest. He's you, sir, you, sir, you know them by their work. So the Levites are back to give you the right law so you can know the path of the Most High and know what you need to do to truly transform yourself the right way. Children! Chapter 8, seal portion, verse 53. For behold, Lucifer and his minions can communicate with you the same manner like the Holy Ghost. Therefore marvel not that Satan Lucifer can transform himself in the Holy Ghost, but it's an illusion that he cannot maintain. Once he put back the Hebrew word on him, Tiabelamet, say it out loud to him, or if he tries to cut off your vocal, try to cut off your thyroid, you say it mentally, and it will unmask him or any of the people that he's sending your way. He can cause us to receive all manners of revelation and inspiration that make us feel as if we're receiving it from God. It is not. You got to know who is giving you all kind of inspiration and whether or not those inspiration require that you break the law of the Most High and the Lord. It's telling you to go war, kill your brothers and sisters, practice hate, not practice love, to squander money, to hoard your money for yourself and not help your brothers and your sisters, feed the poor, heal the sick with herbs, not pharmaceutical, with herbs, not pharmaceutical, share your wealth and help the poor, have mercy on the needy. If you're not getting inspiration and revelation regarding those things, you're getting it straight from Lucifer and his minions. Children of Israel, know that when you come to the Levites, you better be coming with the inspiration truly from the Holy Ghost because the Levites and Judah and certainly your priest king gonna know if you're coming with revelation and inspiration given to you by Lucifer or his minion to come project unto us. But we're not accepting it. Go sit down one time. Children of men, time for the priest king, the Levites, and Judah to rule rightfully. Rolling with the scepter in the left hand, Judah on the hunk, Levite in the right hand. Yes, priest king coming back here. Wait, chapter 8, verse 54 of the seal portion. The Lord told Melchizedek, Called his disciples and his prophets and his leaders to guide and direct the children of men in the right way they should go. That's why the Lord sent them back because Lucifer and his minions are busy communicating with you in all kind of ways fooling you up that it's the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit inspiring you and giving you revelation and ways for you to break down the book, the Bible. But you can't break down the book if you're not an initiate. You're just reading an empty book with empty pages. The book is heavily coded, children of Israel. The book, the Bible, your law book is heavily coded. You can read the surface meaning, yes. And Lucifer can give you inspiration on that, yes. But he will not give you any deeper esoteric meaning because that meaning will expose him because the deeper meaning is telling you how to get rid of him. 
children of Israel know where you're coming from, so you know where you're going. Chapter 14, verse 10 of the seed portion. And the Lord has sent his holy prophet, his holy Levite, his holy Judah, and yes, his number one priest, king, prince right now, Louis, Jerome, Armstrong, to the children of men to be taught and instructed, to be taught and instructed, to be taught and instructed. That's the purpose of the Levites, the Judah, your priest king, your prince right now, Prince Louis Armstrong, Prince Louis Armstrong coming back right now, the spirit of truth to give you back the truth which is the law and the law is the truth. Children of Israel, don't you forget that. If you do forget it, make sure you know someone else waiting, a scene on the left hand side of your screen, waiting to come fill that void if you leave your mind open to them. Don't want that for you anymore. You have gone through enough of their false teaching, their academic fraud, their bad scripture interpretation, and the lies and lies given unto you to let you feel as you are nothing. You are the image of God. Negroes, you are the image of God. You hear me? You are the image of God. Rogue International Thesaurus give you the meaning of who you are. As a Negro, you are created in the image of God. Never said that under the Caucasian description. Never said that under the Hamite description. It says it under Negroes. You are the image of God. If you want to go even a little further, children, if they don't call you Negro, they call you nigger. But don't get upset. They call you nigger. Don't get upset. A nigger is a royal, a royal priest. They give you the word to confuse you and put a negative spin on it to throw you off. Someone call you a nigger. You're, you're, you're instantly in a vex mode. Deny it that you are a royal priest. A nigger, a nigger is a royal priest. Giving back unto you in your holy book of law. Hear me no one, hear me well, children of Israel. Lucifer and his fallen angel planning to land their spacecraft on your planet before your great sign to make it ready for the second landing of more fallen angels. Children, hear me no one, hear me well. Your sign, which is your solar eclipse, Coming with that is the devil comment telling you your signs, your events running side by side with Lucifer event, with the devil event. And we cannot leave him out the picture because he shall come with his last magic tricks to come trick and deceive those who leave themselves vulnerable to his lies, to his lies. But hear me no children of Israel. Your first sign is 48, 48 hours of non-stop sun light. That's your first sign. Your first great sign. So you're not moving or doing anything to go meet nobody until that time. 48 hours of non-stop sunlight and that's going to lead up to your main sign which is the first main great sign 12 pillars of light in your sky 48 hours of non-stop sunlight then on the end of that 48 hours the sun will remove itself and 12 pillars of light will show up in your skies that's your sign that Lucifer is trying to get here before that comes so he can lead you astray and make sure you cannot walk into those pillars of life, the areas of the fifth dimension, safety that you can go while we mash up the planet with Lucifer and the fallen angels on it, while we purify them off the planet and get the planet ready again for rehabilitation by the righteous seed. So. Lucifer and the fallen angel will land their space vehicle on the planet pretending to be aliens and the Messiah sent by the most high. You believe? <laughs> children! <laughs> Can't make this one up, children of Israel. The alien, when he knows he cannot leave Earth, no matter how much trip, 
They're telling you they go to Mars and they go in here. They are locked in, children of Israel. You cannot leave this earth. They cannot even go to other interconnected earth. The earth has nine interconnected pieces all occupying the same space. Whatever the planet you're looking at right now, if you think that's your planet, nine versions of it exist in similarity, in similitude, separated by waves of vibration. Every planet set up that way. Every planet is locked in. You cannot get off the planet until you have attained love, your light, body. Then you're allowed to leave the planet and that's what we're moving up to right now. Your great day is when that event has occurred. He, Lucifer, went through that before in former times, fell from that glory and is stuck here. Therefore, his job is to make sure you cannot attain that light to get off the planet and leave him here once again. So he's going to come pretending that he's coming from another planet because you don't have the knowledge to know that he's locked in with you on this prison planet. So yes, the signs of your 12 pillars of light, the first sign that will last for 40 days. And then after that will be your second great sign for 70 days. Seven spiritual planets surrounding a central sun. The central sun, Orion, given unto you in your book of Amos. Children of Israel, your first sign is going to last for 40 days. Your first sign, 12 pillars of light, 12 pillars of light on the entire planet, four in the United States of America. That shall last for 40 days. 40 days, and Nineveh, aka America, shall be destroyed. Kick off time for your 40 days from that first sign of 12 pillars of light in your skies and you cannot miss this sign. Then for 70 days, you're going to have a great central sun with seven spiritual stars surrounding it as given unto you in Amos. Seek he thought that created the seven stars and the Orion. That's what he's referring to right here. That moment is coming up. And again, he will have a plan for that moment. So when your first sign comes, which is the 12 pillars of light, he has one sign, one thing that he's going to do, land his craft and come and try to trick you before that event. Before your central sun, surrounded by seven spiritual stars, go away, he's going to try to release his friends from other dimension, from the prison planet of the moon as well down upon you. He knows that at that time, the barrier, the dimensional grid, the electromagnetic shield that bar worlds from worlds, dimension from dimension, will be open. And he's now going to get an opportunity to let them in using his equipment that he's setting up here, CERN and all the other things. If you look at the CERN symbol, it's six, three times. Did you hear me? If you look at CERN symbol, it's six, three times, six, six, six. Therefore, again, you know the signs and symbol, you know who to type to. So that's what he's using now to let in all his friends, which is item number two on your list, a parent of a multitude of ghosts, demons, and hybrid creatures from other dimension, from those from your dimension here. Some are locked up as exile on your moon and others that are on your third dimensional plane on your fourth dimensional plane that you cannot see now, they'll all become visible to you because once you get to that central sun surrounded by seven spiritual stars, your etheric vision will be right back on top of you so you can see them in their natural form. Item number three, appearance of 200 million other fallen angels coming in all kind of space vehicle on your third dimensional planet. Yes, they are coming in square and rectangular vehicles. Cover that in the next message. Gonna keep your focus on his first landing in item number one. Landing here in his space vehicle, pretending, pretending to be alien. 
children of Israel. We went over the seal book of Mormon, chapter 4, verse 52. Yes, that was for the covenanted people of Adam, Jacob, Levite, Judah, Israel. In order for you no longer to be lied to by this habitual liar, they shall be kicked out of their hiding place in the last days. In the last day, 2021, ending in 2027. You're in 24 at this time. Fallen watchers will be driven out of their hiding places in the vicinity of the planet, starting with Earth America. And they shall send all kind of signs to give you their last lies. Yes, they will try to give you their last set of lies and their last set of enticement to firmly try to fix your back in slavery. But that won't work for the children of Israel, Judah, Levi, Ephraim as well, because you got the message that these characters are coming, coming, coming in all kind of vehicles to come set up lies at their last time. Their last great wrath deserve a good magic show on their end. Children, keys of Enoch, 309, 55. You shall know, yes, you on this planet, Earth and you in America. Earth will know your head bowhe has removed the barriers, the veil, the veil. Coming down, children of Israel. I told you, I told you, there are electromagnetic barriers set up for each world, separating worlds within worlds. Nine of them are separating nine dimensions as well. Yes, the barriers coming down so the lower heavens shall see the most high on his opening and his vehicles and all his angels coming down to make you an angel as well coming your way the veil of the lower heavens shall come down and you shall see the twelve cities of light waiting to gather the elect of the most high the saints of the Most High are the children of Israel that made themselves ready for that journey to be removed temporarily off the planet while we purge it and they come back and rehabitate, re-inhabit the planet after Luke 23 verse 45, the sun was darkened. No more sun system needed for a short space of time to show you there's something more than what you think and what you've been told by these liars, children of Israel. Your sun and your moon coming down the veil which is with your sun and your moon exist in that veil environment coming down. So your temple, your upper kingdom, your head, your optic thalamus, your pineal shall see the glory of the cities of Ireland, of light, of the most high. Your head, bow head, Elohim, netter of netter. You shall see the unseen at that time. The blockage, the barriers being removed. So children of Israel, they know that the dark forces know that your son has already entered into the Aquarius part of the galaxy by the equinox procession, by the equinox procession, they know that as well. More moisture will be eliminated by this increase in the sun's heat. 
increasing your visual vibration. Therefore, you will become more intense and thus produce a better etheric vision, opening your eyes to things unseen to you right now. So when this hair come down very, very shortly, you shall see these cast of characters on the lower fourth dimension giving all kind of trouble. Lucifer, Azazel, Baal, Behemoth, whatever they call themselves, the fowl of the air, the fowl of heaven, Lord, where for firmament, you shall see them. Your eyes will be open as wide as you can see and see all the unseen. Children, your etheric vision coming back. And they know this. They have to preempt, come before this thing happened so they can lie to you that you did not know that they were up in the lower fourth giving all kind of instruction to those down here on your third dimensional plane. Children, Keys of Enoch, 319, 112. However, because we're at the end of your Passover cycle, 2025 to 2026 of your consciousness age, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, moving you into Aquarius, your consciousness age, end of darkness, and start with light during your Passover time. That's what a Passover is. Passing over from darkness to light. Passing over from war to peace. Passing over from hate to love. Passing over from your spiritual death to your spiritual awakening. Yes, yes, the grid, the barriers, the locks, Shall be open on the mantle of the heaven, the electromagnetic grid of the earth shall be removed. No longer there, children of Israel. That barrier going away. So you'll be able to see the war up in the lower fourth dimension. Children of Israel. It's coming home to roost right now. It's coming home to roost right now. Whatever karma they had set up over those 6,480 years, it has to be closed out by 2027. All karma, all check has to be cashed out on karma. So have you done. It shall be done back on to you. Lead him up to the end of 2027. All checks of negative karma has to be cashed. 2027, all checks canceled at that time. Children, there's a war going on up there. And in order, again, to preempt you from seeing these things, they're coming early to come set you up to make sure by the time the grid is removed, the mantle is shown to you. You have been fully lied up, but it won't work. Your Levites are back. Children of Israel, keys of Enoch, 319, 106. Yes, the configuration of your 12 pillars of light. Four of them over the United States of America. And yes, your cities of life under the ocean. Yes, they shall become visible to you. The heavens will open up and show you the unseen. When that grid is removed and your interior vision clearly making you see all that had once been invisible to you. Coming your way when that is happening, when that will be revealed at that time when the old forces of religion, politics, and world leaders will try to accelerate their control over you right now. That is happening. All that's missing is verse 107. Did you hear me? All that's missing now is verse 107. They come back, they give you Chris Lam. Christian joining up with Islam and they're telling you they're rewriting Bible using AI because the Bible, the way they know it, is not good enough. Da, 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 da. Not no gossip. 
Item number one, political. How much have you given up in your political do's and don't since 2020? Shut down everything on you. Tell your COVID is here. You have to wear masks. You don't know why you're wearing masks, but you have to wear masks. You have to show ID to get into shop, to buy your little grocery. If you didn't get no injection, you can't go to work, threatening to fire you, and you need accommodation form to show your boss to accommodate you. If you didn't take the job, yes, how can a political loss and God let loss Children of Israel building up back them strength to get you ready for item 107. Yes, when your pillars of light come from below the city structure of the heaven. This will take place at the time when the vehicle, the craft, the flying vessel of the unrighteous beings, fallen angel, would come to rest upon their planet. America as well, inspiring you to do and go after materialistic things and keeping you in constant fear, 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 negative. Someone coming, keeping you in a negative state, is that the most I messenger? No, it is not fear and persecuting, going after, attacking, those who are chosen of the most high. Ela, Yaha, Yod, He, Bahu, He, and the Lord, those, Melchizedek, Yod, He, Wa. That's who they're going after. But do you think they have power over you? No, they do not have any power over the righteous seed who are going after co-citizenship in the greater heavens, in the many worlds that are there, in the many dimensions that are there, in the many planets that are there. We're kicking them off. No matter how much craft they land, nothing says that I've read that say they are successful in taking back over control of this planet. Northern girls as such Gonna let you hear this one loud and clear. So, the unrighteous beings are coming with their vehicles, their spacecraft, their flying saucers to come frighten you and make you afraid and make you afraid and inspire you with all kind of money and wealth and sex and drugs and all kind of enticement. But the true children of the most, ye are God, ye are God, you are God. Children of the Most High, it's written in your law, and your law cannot be nullified by whoever stepping off, no flying saucer, nor any unrighteous vessel, vehicle. Children of Israel, the Lord, the Most High Spirit is within you, and you within the Most High Spirit, ye are God. Don't you know the Christ exists in you? Don't you know the Christ exists in you? In you that has love, God exists in you. You are God. If you have love, that's the name of your father. Love, God, you are. If you practice my love, children of Israel. So, you can discern between crafts that are coming into your airspace at that time, shortly, they're beginning to show up now. Some good, some bad. So this is gonna help you to know which ones are good and which ones you should stay away from. Avoid at all costs. Three main type floating around your skies right now. The first one are the vehicles of the watchers. They are called the guardian of your world and the dimension and the other interlocking worlds. They guard those barriers that they soon gonna bring down. So the fallen ones, whether in other world or other location, don't breach that barrier. And definitely the ones trap on your planet with you, whether third or fourth dimension, locked in as well. Watchers are there to make sure no one breaks through that barrier before the Most High and the Lord decide to bring the barrier down to come collect you. Children, the watchers 
the watchers, vessels are called Merkaba, vehicles of light. Mer, vehicle. Ka, body. Ba, light. Ba, essence. Merkaba, vehicle of light. They are cylinder shaped. Round shape as well. Cylinder shape meaning they look like a cigar shape. Very elongated. Look like a zeppelin as well. That is the craft of the watcher. Long, long, very long cylinder. And some of them round, rounder shape. Those are the ones coming from the brothers of light. You will not see them until the appointed time. The second one are interlocking world vehicles. They come as triangle shape. A triangle shape, that's their shape. Any triangular shape in your skies these days are interlocking world crafts, ships, or plane. That's what they are. They come to your planet now for commercial reason. They don't commerce with us as man and woman because, again, we have not risen to the level as yet to commerce with higher beings. So they come and they take what they need under the permission and the guidance of the watchers and they go into their other interplanetary worlds. The third one! That's what Lucifer and his friends prepared to come down on this planet and fool you up with. Flying saucer! Is not from outer space, you hear me? It is right here on your planet, built right here, stayed right here, and that's all there is to it. No matter how much he comes and say, Whoa, oh, I'm from outer space, and a da 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 no go so. Man is full of lies, nothing goes as such. Flying saucers is not from outer space, is not from other worlds. Not a chance. It's from your world. Your world. There are eight other worlds with yours. It's from yours. Nine interlocking worlds. You're one of those worlds. You're in the lower totem pole of those worlds in your spiritual development. You're moving up now to go join those eight other worlds and commerce and trade and interact with them. He wants to hold you back from that. So... His flying saucers, not from other worlds, not from outer space, but it's from an ancient polar paradise up by Russia area. And it is the only definite menace at this time. Russia found a few, thawed them out. The few that were left there from the reptilian era when they were warring with the sons of men. A few got stuck up there, buried under ice because it was a cataclysmic event, a similar one coming to you right now. Those were trapped under the ice. Russia found those ships, thawed them out, but they could not get them to work. So they resuscitate some of the bodies that they found because some of those bodies kept the form of a man, even though it was a reptilian serpent man the Benelli tribe. So they thought them out, not knowing because they did not know the word Tia Bella meant to see what image, what spirit lies under the flesh. So they were tricked. And next thing you know, Russia taken over by these reptilian forms. You shall see them very, very, very soon. They can't keep hiding. They have end of time, end of their date when they're fully clocked out. 2027, so they're running behind schedule at this time. Those are the definite menace that are coming. They have some of those ships as well in your side of the hemisphere, in North America side that they're using over here, associated with their base over in Denver, Colorado. And the US government have got limited access to some of those and they try to reverse engineer them, but they're successful mm, somewhat. But Here's what I want you to know. I'm going to give you a breakdown of each vehicle so you can have your spiritual discernment to know what's coming to you, who is bringing it to you, and what danger it poses to you. Item number one. Merkaba of the brothers of light, the guardians of light, the light watchers. Keys of Enoch 205 verse 43. Merkaba vehicle allows other vehicles used called spectrum vehicle to cross your light spectrum zone. Your light zone is orange and red and go from orange and red all the way up 
to the purple zone. But when they're coming to collect you, if you're not vibrating in the green zone, you're going to be left behind. And that's what Lucifer and his other friends want to do to keep your vibration field trapped at yellow, orange, red. Don't want you to get up to green. Don't want you to get up to green because it says when these fallen angels are let loose on your planet, hurt anything except those things that are green. Vibrating in a green spiritual field. If you're vibrating below green again, yellow, orange, red, they have all access to you, these fallen ones, because the instruction did not include you to not hurt you. Children of Israel, know what's coming. Your Merkaba, they vibrate on all the spectrum available in your region of your earth, all the way from red, all the way up to purple. But they are now here to clear up the lower worlds, which are the worlds vibrating in yellow, orange, red. You hear me? Yellow, orange, red. They're here to clear up those worlds. So the first one they're going to send to you, it's called Spectrum Vehicle of Light. It goes between the light zone, the harmonic zone, the resonance zone of your colors. That's what it's coming to do. Merkaba Vehicle can go faster than the speed of light and crosses electromagnetic spectrum, electromagnetic barriers, encircling each earth within the world within world, encircling each world, encircling each planet, is an electromagnetic vibration, which the space vehicle of Merkaba spectrum can cross. They're the only ones who can do that. The other ones that I've given you, the interdimension can cross dimension, Yes, they can cross worlds, but they cannot cross planet to planet. That's what the Merkabas are, interplanetary vehicles, children of Israel. So, Merkaba was used by the children of Israel. Your forefathers know it. That's why it's coming back to you right now. Merkaba was used by the children of Israel, the house of Israel, across the entire planet. And the children of Israel, currently in the United States of America. That's why your location get four pillars of light. Every other location, get one. You get four. That's why you get the X. Mark the spot. Because the kingdom getting all the Merkabas and all the pillars of light. It needs to get children. Visitation of the host, the orphanim, the messengers of light, of yod he the most high that he sent to earth, the planet. And America exemplified in what? Ezekiel wheels within wheels. Ezekiel wheels within wheels. You think this is not in your Bible? Guess again. We're going to get to that shortly. Spectrum vehicle. That the lower type from the watchers coming to you. Mainly and most of them are the circular spectrum vehicle. They come in the circle round vehicle, global R vehicle. But, yes, children of Israel, we go to this book, Flying Saucer, and I called a mystery, a secret point of view by Dr. Dory. Yes, yes these vehicles, these vehicles, all three of them, yes, they move by magnetic power, free energy, magnetic power, available, unlimited, and they have you digging up the ground, getting fossil fuel to come move up your vehicle and your plane. No, no, Gossa, this is coming back to you. They use the magnetic current. Getting Lucifer out of here, let him know he's not the only one who should be using the magnetic current and giving you gasoline and fuel and all kind of rubbish. Magnetic current flow like a river. Slightly different, 
by its vibratory range, by its vibratory octave, but it floats you like a river. The higher octave, the higher vibration, the higher frequency, the higher resonance that you have, you can use the magnetic wave, the magnetic current more productively. So a vessel motivated by magnetic current that is propelled, move forward by magnetic current, can move in any direction at any given but time at a moment notice at a second notice flash of an eye it can change direction on you instantaneously coming back to you all this technology is there for you lucifer and his friend pulled them off the shelf when they took over back the planet 1830 leading up to this time when he went to the father and said set me loose i need to be set loose so i can set up my plan for this time right now when you're sending a whole bunch of watchers on me i can defend myself you're sending some inhuman body to come intimidate me and run me out the land run me out of business let me loose early that was his complaint. And the father said, I'm going to turn you loose. Go do what you need to do. So instantly, he pulled away your magnetic energy, your magnetic current, and he gave you electromagnetic. Yes, that is electromagnetic. What is electromagnetic? If you may ask what it is, it's a slow down, a step down version of light, a photon. One electron is put by itself. An electron has a positive and negative. And in the middle, it's the neutral zone. It's a magnet. But only thing, it's stripped down, put on a coil. So when you move something on a coil, you slow down its motion from the top of the magnet to the bottom of the magnet. You're coiling it, slowing it down. That is electromagnetic. Slow down light. You don't need slow down light at this point in time. You need that second electron to make you now a full photon. Two electrons make a photon and they have to come together to combine that now at your time to make you into the photonic being that you are. The being of light, children! So you can take over but this planet with light and righteousness. No more electromagnetic. We're done with that. Going back to full magnetism. No electro, just magnetism. And with two electrons put together, making us light. That's coming your way. Firmly putting your back together, reassembling back the children and the house of Israel. You are a light being, a photonic being, so you don't need half of it. You need the two so you can be of light and use your magnetic energy and your etheric energy as well. So these vehicles that they're bringing to you, which is going to be your vehicle soon, can move in any direction instantaneously. It can come to a dead stop instantaneously. It can change its motion, its direction instantaneously, breaking and stopping without any faith, without any loss of movement. Can do all sorts of miraculous things in your sight and it's going to wander you and wove you when you see him show up. Whoa, he can stop instantaneously. Whoa, he can change direction instantaneously. Whoa, he can go at breakneck speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not be impressed. That's the beginning of the stage of how far your set of vehicles go. Magnetic current takes on a different dimensionality. You can go in different dimensions with the magnetic current. As it says, it moves by octave. Octave are eight, eight resonant string tied together perfectly. He can move about some of them, not all eight current his vehicle can enter into, but your guardian and watcher vehicle can cover all eight octave children of Israel. So it can go up to all nine dimension. That is the guardian. That's the guardian watcher vehicle. Merkabas, his flying saucer can only move up to two. Lower fourth, third dimension. That's where he's stuck. So children of Israel, then material world is where he is king. 
They can take on terrific speed and suddenly vanish and suddenly stop, suddenly move in the opposite direction as fast as it's moving in one direction. Suddenly turn back and go and head back 180 degrees on you. So it's going to come with these things, try to impress you. But again, you get the information and you know that is just show and tell at primary school. You need a bigger version that can show and tell and make man heart fail the Coming your way, children of Israel. Flying saucer. Some of these flying saucers are part of their magnetism. is controlled not by your physical turning the steering wheel, but using your mind, your mental thought, your mental force. That's how all Merkabas are operated. His Flying saucer is no different from it because it came from a time during the polar paradise when there's a war up in that time many, many years ago. He got those craft here with him and he inherited some from the ones Russia digged up and then they got overran by the reptilian that were frozen with those ships. So they're combining force locally here on this planet and they have plans to bring in other fallen angels that are in other worlds and some of them which are exiled on the moon. Yes, there's a second moon, people. A second moon will cover that later on. That's a prison moon always shadowing your original moon, your first moon, so you can't see it. As of recently, as of recently, you can see it because it's making itself a little wobbly off the course of your first moon. Every time it loses track of your first moon, you can see two moons, depend on the time when you look up, but there are two moons up there. One is blocking the other. But mental force they will use to bring those exile one on your planet. Same thing they're working on with CERN, using mental force to form a thought form to bring them off the moon, off those exile planet to your planet. That is coming up. That's why I keep telling you, Lucifer and CERN are planning to teleport in 200 million fallen angel. That's what they're planning to do. But the craft they have now, I call them craft. The lower version are called craft. They do wicked stuff with it. And I call the other ones vehicle. Vehicle. That's how I tell the distinction. Children of Israel, we're not done yet. Yes, I've given you all the impressive things about their flying saucer. They're moving on magnetic current and they're going zip, zip, zip speed, making left turn and right turn like they're going out of style and breaking, stopping all of a sudden. Yes, nice craft. Very, very good, but can it stand up to one of the cylinder, global or round vessel that the guardian of the galaxies ride in? The guardian of your planet ride in. Hear me now and hear me well. Cylindrical and globular vehicle guard, guard, you hear me? Guard and prevent man and fallen angels from breaking the barriers. Did you hear me a while ago? Did you hear me a while ago? Did you really hear me a while ago? If there's a grid around your dimension and around your planet, whoever said they're leaving planet to go on to moon and to go on to Mars and to go on to Venus and go da 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 da, no, no, go so. They cannot get through that barrier. The barrier is set up and prevent man and fallen angels and hybrids from breaking through. Man and fallen angels are bound because they are not ready to leave this dimension or this world or planet. Children of Israel, they're stuck here with you and been running gimmicks, telling you all kind of lies. So, oh, you go to this world and that world and you're the only one created on this planet and the rest of the world, ha, ha, ha. No, no, go so. Children of Israel, man and these fallen beings will not be permitted to pass the barrier to other worlds. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Cannot leave. They're stuck on this planet, children of Israel. So all the bigging up they've been giving themselves and saying they're doing this and doing that and NASA flying here and sending this there. Not no us up. Not a thing goes like that all show and tell he will not with a nasa he will not with a lucifer he will not with the other fallen angel be 
permitted to pass to other worlds and carry your destruction there with you. Cannot get out. Firmly fixed on this planet. So the watchers, the brothers of light in the cylinder vehicle, the round Merkaba, in the cylinder Merkaba, the round Merkaba, yes, and their spectrum vehicle have been sent to your planet to guard as God is good. Children of Israel, they cannot get out of this barrier until the most high bring down the barrier and let them use their thought to use their thought combined with the exile fallen angel on different world to teleport them here it can only happen when the barrier has been removed and I've read to you the barrier will remove the most I will remove that barrier so you can see your future world and you can make yourself ready to go out the 12 pillars of light set up where your barrier points are so you can enter into the fifth dimension and wait out the time when we destroy this planet with these fallen wood i don't mean mash up and blow up the planet meaning purge purify the planet of the fallen darkness one children of israel know that the watcher's vehicle will outdo, will outdo these flying saucers and the other crafts that they'll bring in when they teleport the fallen ones into your world dimension of time. Children, the watchers, they can cut off the flow of the magnetic current that I just eloquently walked you through. They can cut it off and the flying saucer or the flying disc will fly into a million pieces and smash and kill and kill all those who are in that flying saucer of darkness. Children of Israel, so coming up with flying saucers when we have watchers with some bigger and better vehicles and those that can pull away the magnetic current. And if you can't move on the magnetic current, you're going to disintegrate into millions of pieces and mash up the whole ship and kill all the passengers on board. So these fallen boys think they're here to win the last battle. No, no, go so. When that magnetic current vanishes from them, immediately they became subject to gravitational and friction, and with friction, tear them apart. That's as far as they can go when we switch this thing on and shut off the magnetic current. Yes, children of Israel, I be telling you all of the plans of Lucifer and the fallen angels. To be nearly and Cain, and they hand it down to Vicar of Christ and Balak, Kabbal, and yes, they handing it into the Gentile Goma. Oh, Haitian hearts give you all kind of things and plans they're up to, but I'm gonna give you the time has outlined in the Bible when they shall start civil war. Start world war. Try to put your back into slavery. But it won't work. Tie yourself back to the most high on the Lord. Yes, planning to land space vehicle on your planet up to the time of your great signs. Your signs coming and they're trying to head off you in a wrong direction. Zechariah 1 verse 12. And the angels of the Lord said, Oh Lord, how long, how long, how long will you not have mercy on the children of Israel? Have mercy on Jerusalem, Louis, Jerome, Armstrong, and his people. How long shall the city of Judah, Louis, High place in Florida. Go desolate. How long, my Lord? Give us an answer, my Lord. We need to know the answer. Against how long? Against the children of Israel. Who you have had indignation for. Because 
we were disobedient. Children of Israel, you got your punishment. Your punishment is over. Now the Lord is going to answer you. Seventy years shall your punishment last. Three score and ten years. Seventy years starting when the son of man was birthed in a physical body. Your Messiah, priest came coming to be birthed in a physical body. 1954. Check 70 years after that. See which year you land on. Check 70 years after 1954. And let me know what year you land on. And Yes. Did you hear me a while ago? 2024. That's when your punishment done. All curse lifted. And they know. That's why they have to come. At the beginning of year 2024. April 9th. And they coming with their sign. April 8th. Zechariah 1 verse 15. I am very displeased with the heathen that I put to rule over you for the last 70 years. When you are under your indignation punishment, I put behemoth over you. Lucifer and the fallen angel fall off the air. Those were the ones running the show while you were being indignated under your desolation. Yes, that's the number one heathen. Then he gave it unto Leviathan. That's his ruling people on your third dimension. Behemoth up there in fourth, sipping my tail, drinking cocktail, eating shrimp. Yes, eating shrimp with shrimp cocktail. All kind of delicacy. While you go hungry, change right up this way. And Leviathan did the same to you, Benelli. Cain, Jezebel, Roman Catholic Pope, look at the Vatican City, full up a goal and taking offering from people that are broke and oh, oh, oh great. Should be giving them back their offering now in a time where it's very hard for them to make hands meet. Cabal, you're not going unnoticed. Cabal, you're not going unnoticed. Jacob Caucasian. As well, you're going to join up with the fishes of the sea, the fishes of the earth, the fishes of the sea, the sea Europe, and you take over as the fish of the earth, earth America. I am displeased with the heathen that they are at ease, making the land desolate, putting your land to rest, taking away spirituality of your land, getting rid of the Holy Spirit of your land. Making it desolate, desolate, desolate in roads under your watch, under your watch. So you think you're going to continue that watch of the same desolation for the children of Israel and the Holy Land of America. No, no, go so. Children of Israel, they help, help, help forward your affliction. Making it eagerly that they wake up every morning to come tell you a lie. Eager as ever. Wake up every morning to come give you money exchanging and charge you. You say it. And the Lord say, no, you say it. Wake up early to come figure out ways to poison your food and give you more pharmaceutical with 100 different side effects. Children of Israel, that time they're done. 2024, that's your three score and ten years. When you're done, affliction. Done! I shall turn back your affliction right in front of you. Done. 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 Children, not done with them as yet. Zechariah 1 verse 10. These are they whom the Lord sent to walk on America. 
they didn't come here on their own, but they overdid what they needed to do to subdue you and get you to regret what you have done, falling out of line, disobedient to the master. And the Lord thought, Melchizedek, they, those heathen, that group I just gave you, their whom I have sent to walk, to tread down, to add darkness to your holy land and to the people that were indignated because they are disobedient. You are God. You're not supposed to be mingling with behemoth and leviathan. No matter which one, on which dimension, or whatever level. Zechariah 1 verse 11. They behemoth and Leviathan, that group, that conglomerate group, answered and said to the angel of the Lord, I said unto you, we have certainly trod down and walk in darkness on your land of America. Yes, we trod down the holy land because that's what you told us to do, my Lord. But he didn't tell you to go overboard. That's why the 70 shepherds are going to get tried for going overboard with the sheep has given unto you in the first book of Enoch. Did you hear me? Waiting and waiting for you. That trial is set. Whether you die or in the spirit or you're in the flesh, you're still being tried. So, yes, all over the earth, they tread down knowingly, knowingly that the earth America. That's the holy land of the Lord told Melchizedek, Yohewah, the Atlantis that you have been reading and trying to find. Whoa, 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 it's over there. And whoa, 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 it's over there. Yes, it's in America. Tread it down. So, America, sit still. Desolate and in ruins, neglected all the holy energy. Stop, stop, stop. The law of God on the land. Stop, stop, stop. Light on the land. No, light cut off. Light bill didn't pay. Yes, the Holy Spirit. God and the land of America and the righteous seed. It's righteous seed of America that were disobedient at rest as well. Putting you to rest for the last eight years. Children, but your rest done. Time for you to work. Yes, he told unto you. In Haggai 1 verse 14. Yes, you want your praise. Good. Gonna work and build back the house of America. Children of Israel were not done. You hear me? Yes, Second Chronicle 36, verse 21. To fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of the prophet Jeremiah until the land enjoyed her rest. That's what the land needed for when? Three score and ten years. Seventy years, the land shall get it rest. As long as it lay desolate, the children of Israel, not running it red like they used to run it before I run it on them, behemoth and Leviathan, to totally subdue them in the land of America. Seventy years, the Sabbath for the land. Rest, rest. That's why you read in Zechariah 1 verse 11 where they're confirming to the Lord, yes, we did put America, we did put America, we did put America to rest as you have instructed us. Say the land should have her Sabbath, her day of rest, her time of rest. So my Lord, don't punish us as much as you want to punish us. I know you're displeased because we went overboard, but can I have some mercy? That's what they're asking, cause a 70 year done. Han Balak, Kabal, trying to put back root, trying to put back curse on you that he said in Joshua 24, verse 9, Joshua 24, verse 10. But the Lord told Balaam, being Heli, you can't add back any more curse on the children of Israel. After, after, after I pull down all their desolation. That's when their time done, they shall no more longer be desolate. Children of Israel, Zechariah 1 verse 7, Zechariah 1 verse 7, 
Make sure, make sure, make sure you remember this verse when you want to know when Lucifer has to come forward in his fullness. Until that time, he's going to be coming in and out because he control his time when he wants to come out before this time come to you. He has to come out by this time. Zechariah 1 verse 7 Upon the 4 and 20th day No, the 4 and 20th year That's when he has to come out When exactly? The 11th month Children of Israel That's your Hebrew month we're talking about Shabbat That start when January through February Putting you in to 2025 Because him sent the car of Christ to come change the calendar to Gregorian. Where they're starting your new year in January. When January is your 11th month. You hear me? January is your 11th month. That's when your 11th month starts. So January, January 2025 through February. February 2025. His last chance to come home. And show himself until that time, until that time, he's going to be running in and out, in and out, until this time run out on him. And he has to come out. Yes. Did you hear me a while ago? Yes. Which month is what? Sibat, Shivat, in the second year of Darius. No second year. Second, two thousand, one thousand for each year. So two of them make two thousand. Putting you at two thousand and twenty four. That's when he has to come out. Came the word of the Lord to come out. Came the word of the Lord to come out. Zechariah one verse. I saw by night, and behold, a man riding out in his craft upon a red horse. Yes, upon a red horse. Who riding red horse? In Revelation 6, verse 4. Lord, say, Pop! God of war coming out, has to come out by the 11th month of the Shabbat, by the 11th month of your Hebrew year, 2024. We drop him up to January, February of 2025 because Gregorian calendar running the show right now and I'm moving your back to your Hebrew calendar. Has to come out riding upon a red horse, red horse, Lucifer, Behemoth group, and he has to ride out with Leviathan as well. All of them riding out. Yes, I saw Lucifer, and behind him were red horse, red, speckles, white. Three groups riding behind him. One he controlled, that's the unrighteous group in red. The ungodlies in red. The speckled, meaning that they are not sure. They are uncertain. They're still unbelievers. They're doubtful. They have double-minded. They have not listened to the Lord instruction. You cannot serve to master. Not at this time. Cannot serve to master. You cannot serve the Lord those Melchizedek and Most High Elijah. Your head for whip and Mammon, which is Lucifer, at this time chose life or chose death. That's the choices that you have to make. So if you're speckled, if you're speckled, make up your mind. Because if you're speckled, your mind shall be made up for you and shove you straight in red. Children of Israel, move back to the Lord. Because once this man come out with his red horse, fly out with all he need to fly out. Whether by ear, whether by land, whether by water, he has to come out with his red group. Children of Israel, Revelation 6 verse 4. There went out another horse that was red. Power was given unto that horse over America at that time. And it was given unto him a great sword to give you world war. Save war. 2025 is your civil war. 2026 is your world war. That's what's coming when this red horse ride out upon you, whether by air, land, or water. L A W. Land. Ear, water, land, ear, water, law, his law coming for you. At that time, children.
Children, darkness coming. Children, I saw my darkness. The red army coming out over America. Yes, 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 yes. Make up your mind. Speckled. Make up your mind. Those who are white, the righteous seed, Levite, Judah, and Israel. Yes, you shall not have to worry when this red horse ride out. You that are speckled, you shall belong to him. If you haven't made your mind up, how you get to Florida. Goshen, in Goshen, he can't touch you, and you can't change your speckled to white in Goshen during that time. But if you're red, fully red, his orders start strong. That's Trump, my leave right Judah is right dressed in your white garment. Your over self body given back unto you, as I told you, these offer names that are coming after Lucifer come with his little show to give you his miniature vehicle. Then the offer name's gonna come, the real one's gonna come and put back your white garment on your children. Firmly decided, children, mark this date. Make sure you straighten up yourself. He's going to do things in between, but not trouble yourself. If you're moving into the white, the white garment of light, the white garment of light, the white garment of light. If you're moving to that group, no matter when he come, tomorrow or at this time, he has no power over you. Yes, children of Israel, the vision given unto you and given back to you by the Lord through me, by the prophet Zechariah, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end time it shall speak for it, say, and not lie. Vision is certain, and certain, as certain can be. Though it may tarry, it tarry no more. You're living in that time right now. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry anymore, children of Israel. Firmly decided, firm. Firm and sure, firmly decided, firmly decided, children, I give you the ending at the beginning, yes, know who's coming to you, so you know how to identify them, and you know to stay away from them if they're not coming as the great sign of the Merkabas of light, the washers of light, coming to you, watchers shall make themselves, shall make themselves and their vehicles, their Merkaba, visible to you at the right time. Yes, at the appointed time, everything shall come. Keys of Enoch 301 verse 8. For this reason, you're getting your information now so you can spiritually discern Tell the difference, get the wisdom, get the understanding by the Holy Spirit, lest you be confused and tricked and given lies about vehicles coming to your planet. Merkaba is coming, different from flying saucers. Children of Israel, craft, those are the negative ones, coming to trick you up. Flying craft, flying craft, yes, they're coming from a negative, low, intelligence. Children of Israel, I've been telling you, crafts of negative intelligence forced to exist on your lower fourth dimension. Where Lucifer and his friends are in the spirit and in a physical body, they come down to the sea, Europe, and America, Earth. Children, we're not done yet. Get your understanding so you're not tricked. 301 of the keys of Enoch, verse 3. Merkabas used by the people of Israel. You hear me? Choose 
by the children of Israel, the whole house of Israel. Yes, that's why you're getting back your discernment. So when vehicles begin to appear in your sky, you know what is a Merkaba versus flying crafts, children of Israel. 301 of Enoch as well. Verse 36. I told you, three kind of things coming as Merkaba. You're a Merkaba, children of Israel. First one, spiritual body. Your spiritual body coming down to glow upon you. Light on top of light. Not man-made light. Children of Israel. Flames and fire surrounding you. And any other Merkaba coming on your behalf. Flames and fire. Fiery wheels as they are called. From head to toe. Flames. Children of Israel. Second Merkaba. After you come the spiritual vehicle of light. Pure energy. Light. 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 That's your vehicle coming. Third one. That's the space technology. The interplanetary vehicles. Driven by the Merkaba. Driven by the guardians. And the watchers. They come. Cylinder. Cigar. Zeppelin. Shape. Or they come round. And they big. And they huge. And they huge. And you can't miss them. Coming with flames of fire, children of Israel. Acceleration of those space technology. Travel 2.9 times of the speed of light. Lucifer and his crafts can travel those kind of speed. Children of Israel, you as your Merkaba. Because these cylinder Merkaba, when they start show up in their sky, is to collect your gonna collect you by sending down your over self body to dome upon you and turn you in a Merkaba children of Israel oh, what is coming your way verse 33 keys of Enoch 3 open Merkaba therefore allow your over self body your geometry of body for the king the king Lois, his Adam can manzo our body to them with your physical body. Children of Israel, that's the moment coming for you that these cast of characters is trying to prevent you from attaining your own Merkaba. So they shall come with flying craft to try to steer you away from your own Merkaba and the other Merkabas coming as well. Verse 1, Keys of Enoch 301, the souls who have reached their greatest level of awareness and attunement with your father, your Hebrew, Elohim, Neta Rav Neta, Elohim. That's who this Merkaba coming to dome back on you and set you off in the right direction are able to extend themselves through many, many, many dimensions of what? Life done by your Merkaba. So pulling you out of the third dimension, pulling you up to fifth. You need your Merkaba to dome down upon you and collect you. Bring you back to faith. Another dimension of life. Children, don't let these characters move you away from the love that the Most High and the Lord want you to be showing, want you to be exemplifying at this time. Everyone who loves his God within them, ye are God, children of the Most High, and my children, practice love. Those who don't practice love do not know me, God. They don't know God, children of Israel. Don't know him. God, his love. God, his love. God, his love. 
Make sure you're practicing love and all the other commandments given unto you that have been going over week after week. Tie yourself back to that. If you don't remember what they are, turn your thoughts back to the Lord Tooth. Melchizedek, your head 100% on the most high. Yeah, your head Hello, 100%. Turn your thoughts back to the Lord and the Most tight El. Yes, keys of Enoch, 205, verse 43. Merkaba, vehicle, allow other vehicles used by the brothers of life. Your watchers, your guardian, call Spectrum Vehicle. We went through that already. As I told you, go faster than the speed of light and they cross over all kind of electromagnetic zone set up in the lower world and as it told you right here these Merkaba travel 2.9 times of the speed of light, that's what it's saying over here for the spectrum vehicle but we're not done yet verse 7 of keys of Enoch 301 Merkaba also control your 12 pillars of light that will be lighting up the entire planet. Four of them over the United States of America. Children of Israel, they protect the barriers. They are protecting your 12 watt zone, which they're going to open back soon. And now, but now, for now, they are preventing these lower intelligent Satan, Lucifer, and his fallen angel, all of that multitude from coming in your zone at a time when they should not be there and coming in to the fifth dimension where they certainly do not belong and preventing them from interfering with the Father's plan to come back and collect you. Yes, children of Israel, that's your Father's plan. Twelve pillars of light over the entire planet, four of them over America, because America, the Father has declared the United States of America, Midwest, to be your location for Zion, the place, and Zion, the man, Louis Jerome Armstrong. Yes, that's where it's turning back on. Zion, the place, the location, the spiritual mountain. Yes, and it's also turning back on. The one who's supposed to kick the whole thing off, Louis. And he's turning back on New Jerusalem in Florida by Lake Okeechobee. Yes, and he's turning back on the man, Jerusalem, Louis, Jerome, Armstrong, Father's plan, giving back on to you. 2024, go and get the 2025. Children of Israel were not done yet. As I told you, your forefathers knew about these vehicles and they called them wheels within wheels. Yes, Ezekiel 1, verse 1. Those opened up the heavens on you. Those opened up the heavens on you. Those, the heavens were open. And I saw that vision. Firm as firm can be. Certain as certain can be. Fair, let us start dead. That's the vision given back unto you. Habakkuk told you about how you should deal with the vision given back unto you by the Lord. They shall happen. They are certain. Hold on for a little while. Let me put that vision into fruition. Put it into reality. It won't tarry. It won't stay. It won't be delayed. At the appointed time, it shall come. Ezekiel 1 verse 16. The appearance of what? Wells of fire, color of berry, light emerald green, hope in your sky. They had four, had one lightness, four, had one lightness, four wheels, moving within wheels, wheels within wheels, their appearance, wheel in the middle of wells. Put on the screen for you. A smaller version of your Merkaba currently in your skies, leaving everyone wondering, oh, what are these lights coming from? Where are they coming from? Oh, do, 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 do. It's your Merkaba. A small
small version in your skies at this time, making sure those barrier points, your 12 pillars of flight location is not interfered with. And make sure those fallen angels trapped on your second moon, Erelich, your second moon, Erelich, your second moon, Erelich, does not get up before the appointed time. That's given unto you. And the vision is firm as firm can be. Well, within wheels is he here. Giving you back the information. Giving you back the information. But when I don't as yet. Not the boss of when I done yet. Is he here 10 verse 10. Appearance of what? Four of the likeness as one. Wheels within wheels. Wheels within wheels. Wheels within wheels. Multiple wheels moving within wheels. They try to mimic it in the movie that they gave you with Jodie Foster, the movie called Contact, where they're showing you something moving and creating a wormhole. And Jodie Foster went through and got talked to her dad and da 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 da. No, to no go so. Your wheel within wheel, it doesn't stay stationary on one point. It moving all about the place, zipping in and out of car and trust us. Wheels within wheels coming your way. The small version in your skies right now. Hold your head up. It told you in Luke 21 verse 25 and verse 28. Look up. Look up. Look up. So you can see your father sending back your vision that he sent to your forefather. Well, well then, well, well, well then, well. Given unto you again, Ezekiel 1. Verse 1, the vision of the Most High, the Lord told, sending his vision, look up, look up, stop looking down on the ground. Yes, but we're still not done. Ezekiel 1 verse 10, the likeness of those Merkaba coming in your sky. Yes, they had four faces, four different imprints on them to identify who they are and who they're coming from and where they're coming from. Their license plate, their license tag is on each Merkaba. Once they come down in your view, they have to show four faces four wheels within wheels and four faces. One face of a man, another face of a lion, another face of an ox, another face of an eagle. Those four has to be shown in your Merkaba. Anybody landing craft without those four images on their Merkaba, send them back, send them back, send them away. That's not your vehicle coming your way. The man is to show that you have the likeness of the father as a man, a woman. Your image is the same as the higher evolutionary that sent that Merkaba for you. And they're bringing you up into the knowledge of them. Liar! The probe of the Merkaba is coming from a universe at the edge of your galaxy. That's the lion showing up on your doorstep. Ought to tell you that it's coming from. Liar! Taurus Orion, Taurus Orion, Taurus is bull. Ah, yes, it identified where they're coming from. Children of Israel, no, no, your son. Eagle, the Merkaba, represent the entire wing arm of your galaxy. Location again, where it's coming from. These folks cannot come with those four faces of their wheels within where is Ezekiel 1 verse 13. With the four faces, this is what it must look like. Their appearance, like what? Burning fire, the vehicle on fire. Children of Israel, not joking around this time. Appearance of a bright lamp burning like fire. Chill, run! Whatever landing, if it's not burning fire, send it back. Children of Israel, the fire was bright out of control. Fire burning up the wicked town. Out of the fire went lightning, lightning. Children, children, you were promised signs and wonder when these things start to show up in your skies the right way. Oh, fly 
Divine craft can duplicate that. Did you hear me? Children of Israel. Ezekiel 1 verse 13. Anything land on your planet. Make sure you go to this first. And match it up with whatever vehicle land. Not coming with the burning coal of fire. Send it back. Not coming with fire. Bright as bright can be. Send it over the sun. Not coming. Not coming with lightning flashing from it. Send it away. Don't want that vehicle for the children, the house of Israel. No, the children, children of Israel. Whoever stepping off that vehicle better match the description given to you in Ezekiel 1 verse 26 and Daniel 7 verse 9. Folks, this is who you're sending for your children of Israel. Like the likeness, like the likeness of a throne. Yes, flame in the fire. The appearance of sapphire, purplish blue, purplish blue, must be coming off that offering, coming out of that wheel within wheel. Throne color, appearance of a man above the Merkaba. Gotta come purplish blue, and then once he land on this planet, they will kick the things off to turn our priest king, Louis, Louis, Jerome Armstrong, into green burial color coming for your son of man. Your color as the offering coming for your Demetria. Purplish blue as well. Not done yet. Ezekiel 1 verse 27. I saw the color of what? Amber. Yellowish color coming from the fire that's blazing around you. As the appearance of fire. Anyone coming off that space. Vehicle. That cylinder vehicle. That round vehicle. Better of fire. Blazing half his body. Children of Israel, did I say it loud enough so you can hear and you can't say I didn't hear it so well, so I made a mistake and run go hug up someone coming without fire and flames from the vehicle and fire and flames from their body. Amber, yellowish orange, appearance of what? Fire! From what? His loins, his waist, upward to his head. On fire, children of Israel. That's who's coming off. The Merkaba coming for you to set you up the same way that they are. Did you hear that? Yes. From his loins, upward to his head. And from downward, I saw fire. Fire. Fire! Blazing off the offering coming with your Merkaba to set things off with your ancient of days that is currently on your planet dressed in rags right now. Yes, that's your priest king, Lois, appearing with his fire as well. He let Trump go. He let Trump go. He let Trump go. All around, all around, whoever coming off your Merkaba, and then gonna make you have that same electron glow, have that same electron glow. That's your representative coming off your Merkaba, coming to collect you and set back your Merkaba upon you. Children of Israel, yes, yes, that's how your people of Israel describe the vehicles, the cylinder vehicle and the round vehicle coming from them at their time and the same vehicles coming for you at your time described by your forefathers given unto you. So you have discernment to know spiritually who is coming for you and who is not. And yes, they gave you all the inscription for the body, the offering, the body, the man, the offering coming off that vehicle has to have fire blazing.
everything from head to toe has to have fire blazing from head to toe. Without that coming for someone else, maybe for someone else, but not for you. Children of Israel. Yes, in the next message, we're going to talk about Lucifer and the fallen angels. We'll teleport more fallen angels on your planet when their plan fails to trap you here with them. Go send for backup. They go send for backup. Yes, they go send for backup to ready themselves to deal with you when you come back with your own body on fire from head to toe. Children of Israel, I say yes, children of Israel. But until that time, no. This is your description on the left hand side for the week of Merkaba coming for you. And on the right hand side of your screen is who should be coming out of that Merkaba. Ezekiel 1 verse 13 and Ezekiel 1 verse 27. That your blueprint for who's coming, vehicle is coming, and the man of a name coming out of that vehicle. Stop! Struggle, children of Israel. Stand strong, oh children of Levi. Stand strong, oh children of Judah. Stand strong, Jacob. Stand strong, Ephraim. Yes, your time are all coming, coming. When you shall get back your own murder. <laughs> but children of Israel stood strong, all of you, in the name of the Most High. Eh, hey, la, ya, your head for who head. Eh, no, whim, netta, rough, netta. God in your modern day name. Stand strong, my gentile as well. Always I keep telling you, if you shall change your ways, move away from the evil. Lucifer, vicar of Christ, Canaan, Benelli, and your United States government giving you to follow each day. Move away from that. Move back to righteousness. Move back to the Lord, the true Lord, that the real Levites coming right now to identify to you. Move back and you shall be no humbug among Israel and you shall be no humbug among Jacob. Leave on to Jacob. Jacob is not spiritualized as yet. And he's off a brown race, a dark skin, a black mud. Leave on to him. That's part of what's going to build you back to being in the kingdom. When these things start to happen, start strong. Kodowish, Kodowish, Kodowish. Adonai, Sepacho. Thank you always, my Lord. You gave me. You gave me, you gave me the understanding of the ending at the beginning. I say you gave me the understanding. Why you give us the ending at the beginning? Because knowing the end, and if the end is what you desire, you bring it into manifestation as well. You show us the paradise. You show us the kingdom. You show us our Merkaba. You show us those coming on the Merkaba. You show us what we're going to become as part of these righteous seed. Where we're going. Where we're coming from. We shall manifest it. Put it into manifestation for you. Ending. Given us at the beginning. We see the ending. We don't see in between. Because we know the ending. The ending is sure. As sure can be. Firmly decided the gods shall raise up again in the United States of America. Firmly decided and cannot be changed no matter what flying craft, no matter what fallen angel, rectangular, square vehicles show up. No, not this can change what is fixed at the end. Firmly, we stand with you, my Lord. Strong, as strong can be. You told us, fear not, fear not, fear not. We're not fearing. 
anyone coming this way, we're here to bring home our brothers and sisters to the most high, to the most high, to the most high, to the kingdom of the most high, which is within them. Thank you, my Lord, forever and forever. Kodowish, 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 Adonai Sebajot. Kodowish, 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 Yodhe Vahohe Sebajot. Kodowish, 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 Elohim Sebajot. Thank you, my Lord, forever and forever and forever. We walk hand in hand with you, step by step with you. Thank you.